my focus in this video called Alien Object Spotted in Deep Space Part 7. These blue objects that are found, this particular one is at RA 6 hours 40 minutes 47.10 seconds and the DEC is minus 13 degrees 38 feet 35.56 inches again that's RA is 6 hours 40 minutes 47 seconds 0 0.10 seconds and the DEC is minus 13 degrees 38 feet 35.56 inches and these objects are actually in the photos and this is one of the best ones but I just want to point this one out first so when we move on to the other objects in the sky you'll be able to recognize the other objects as being similar to this one but not directly the same so if you get a good look at this one real quick and see that one and then we're going to move to another region in space that shows another one but looks like it's different than the other one but you can actually see that it's actually in the photograph because the way light interacts with it where it seems to cover up light in some areas but then light seems to cover it up in some areas. So that places that object actually in there. Where you can see light interact with it. Like light shining down on it from the stars near it or something. And all through the whole image we'll see angles on it that appear to be like technological advance or civilization had made something to warn people or just say hello to people that might be there maybe they've already moved on and they just left something to let us know where they were who knows what these things are it won't be until we do more intense study on what these objects are we won't really be able to tell that I'll go to another one. Fly over here, and there's another one of those images. This one seems to have changed shape and color since the last time I've looked at it. But it's Still the same kind of, but it looks like it lost some of the color on it. Used to be more blue, but it still seems to look like a some sort of hologram or something. And what is where is that coming from? And what is that technology stuff? And what's all this like? It's like gaseous stuff. We're gonna move on quickly because we want to hurry up in this part of the series because I got more to talk about uh, I'm going to move to a place where there's many space cities those objects that I just showed you are found here but in like an abundance where there's dozens and dozens of that same object spread out but this looks like smaller versions or further away versions of that same object maybe so 
but they seem really strange. And I don't know if you folks can see any of these areas that are near this blue object as clear as I can see them. I'll let it try to stay in there for a second so maybe you'll be able to see that the outer area of this area seems to be look it looks weird it looks like a object and then in the center of that area is just like a blue dot right in here kind of looks like a rear view mirror or something that's connected to this blue object or something and there's other areas that seem to show where the objects actually block light from behind them so that and then in some areas it not only blocks the light behind it some of them allow the light to come through like they might be opaque or something and also that line right there again I'll mention see the line where the, the computer on the satellite puts all the images together and when they compile all the images that the satellite actually takes and they place them together where they go the separate uh, photographs that the camera actually takes it, it can't take one big giant picture but it just takes many many little pictures well when it puts it together why is that present so fine right there but this other edge right here is whatever the edge of this object is is blocking the light behind it and a lot of the objects around here don't seem like the normal when you look at a sun there's there's too many colors and too much texture involved in some of these objects for it to be a star I think my theory is that a lot of the objects in space are unexplainable objects until we can know more and have our telescopes be able to have a better resolution on what we're looking at when we look out there in the sky then we won't know that but just knowing from what I can see so far is a lot of these objects don't make sense when it comes to points of light in the sky that you would normally see when you look out into the sky with a camera what are these blue objects caused from they're everywhere in this area here there's, there's dozens and dozens of them spread throughout here some of them seem to be lit up some of them seem to be turned off some of them are darker areas than others different contours different angles of the little eye part of it we'll go to another the same per particular region where okay I'll, t I'll show you first for instance this double one here. I'm going to go to another telescope real quick so you can see that on another format. Here we can see the same area. But the detail in those blue spots in that whole area is a lot better on this telescope this is that same region where I'll find that double one again I was just showing you those objects are definitely in the photograph seems to cover the other one up when you get really close to it you can see the highlight of the light from the one is in front of the other so we continue
So what are these blue lines here? So they, all these blue dots seem to be traveling along this blue line. And some of these seem to be like directly connected to that blue line. As you can see here. blue line area there's even uh, areas that seem to see you can see where the, the light actually covers up the line but then the line actually covers up other light when you look at it really close lights seem to have actual direct contact with that blue line when you get really close and also see how the blue line and it looks like it it covers areas where you can see the light being blocked by the object but then there's areas where the light shines in front of the object like here for instance stars in front of that blue line. How, how can it be that the light here is in front of the blue line, but the blue line's in front of the light here? Because there's the edge where the photos are put together. How can all this stuff be in here? If it was an anomaly on, on the actual information, no, it's just it's some kind of strange technology out there with capabilities of way beyond and more advanced than ours. <coughs> anyway, keep watching the rest of the series on objects spotted in deep space where I'll keep highlighting more and more objects. There are several objects out there that don't make sense. And we'll see you later.